And now to our one-on-one -on -one interview with Charlie Sheen, the star of Two and a Half Men, sat down with NBC's Jeff Rawson to talk about his life and the cancellation of his popular sitcom for the rest of the season. Jeff, good morning to you. Hi, Meredith. Good morning to you. I spoke with Charlie Sheen inside his home in Beverly Hills for a good part of the day yesterday. I met his twin boys and his new girlfriends, two women he calls the goddesses. They now live with him, by the way. We talked about everything, including his drug abuse, how he wants a raise, and his new plan for a comeback. Ever show up to the set drunk or hot? Never once. Never once. You know, a little bit sideways, having not slept, but never, uh, never, never loaded, never drunk, nothing on the set. No, when I step between the lines, it's on. And I'm there to show others how it's done. It's not really rocket science again, you know. You're angry. Well, I'm not angry. I'm passionate. And it's like everybody thinks I should be, like, begging for my job back. And I'm just going to forewarn them that it's everybody else that's going to be begging me for their job back. I'm a man of my word. So I will finish the TV show. Uh, I'll even do season 10. But it's at this point because of psychological distress. Oh, my God. It's three mil an episode. Take it or leave it. Oh, so you want to you raise? Well, yeah, look what they put me through. So you make $2 million an episode now? Roughly. That's, that includes the back end, yeah. And you want, you want $3 million now? Well, because I'm underpaid right now, sure. You're underpaid? If you look at the money they're making, yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm tired of pretending like I'm not special. I'm tired of pretending like I'm not bitching a total frickin' rock star from Mars. And uh, people can't figure me out. They can't process me. I don't expect them to. You can't process me with a normal brain. By the way, Charlie says his celebrity friends are offering support as well, even stopping by his house, friends like Colin Farrell and Sean Penn, just to name a couple. And that, Meredith, is just the tip of the iceberg. Charlie and I talked for quite a while. There is much more for you coming up. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to be talking to Charlie about a lot of questions. What does he say to people who fear he could OD, and is he setting a good example for his kids? His surprising answers to those questions and a lot more. But first, this is today on NBC. I'm angry passionate. And it's like everybody thinks I should be this thing. They've completed the three parts of my heart, you know? What are the three parts of my heart?